one person. It was an eight-year-old boy who believed. Take your pass, come on. So the first thing that we're gonna do, Heidi, if you could please join me on yes. stage along with Terry. Give it up for All Heidi right. Krum and Terry Cruz, everybody. <laughs> Heidi, thank you for joining us. Great to see you again. Good to see you. So, um, look, magic can be many things. Um, Heidi, keep us hold your hand out like this. Yes. As a magician, uh, with these hands, I can do some pretty impossible things. But look, there's a magic that is far more powerful than anything these hands could ever do. Our words can literally change the course of someone's entire future. Uh, Terry, I need you to do me a favor. I want you to think of some encouraging words that you might want to say to Simon, okay? Something that might impact him in a way that matters. Mm -hmm. I want you to imagine yourself writing down whatever it is you're thinking on a note for Simon. Cool? Okay. Awesome. Um, Simon, do you see this uh, blank piece of paper in front of you? Yep. Can you please pick that up? Yep. I'm gonna pick it up, hold it in front of you. Yep. Keep your eyes on the paper. Terry, continue to imagine yourself writing down whatever it is you're thinking. Mm -hmm. And um, Simon, as Terry is imagining this, do you notice anything happening yep. to that paper? The words are becoming clearer. Terry, there's no way that anybody could know what you're thinking. I don't want you to say what you're thinking exactly, but um, can you just tell us what it's about? Fatherhood. Fatherhood? Um, Simon, can you please read out loud the note that Terry just wrote for you? Yeah. Simon, you're an amazing father to Eric. Never forget that. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> wow. Wow. Our words can literally become reality. Words are powerful. But words are not always encouraging. Uh, when I was a little kid, I had this belief deep inside me that I had the ability to impact the lives of others in a way that mattered. And then I met a lady who always felt the need to remind me that the only thing that I had was ADHD, a minor version of Tourette's, and a whole lot of people who had no idea what to do with me. What could this anxious, unfocused kid possibly do to change the world? How could I impact lives in a way that mattered when I didn't even matter? Her words created a barrier that I couldn't see past and I didn't think I would ever be able to break through. But then uh, fast forward to when I was about 18 years old, I met a man named Keith, whose words also changed me. Uh, Keith became a mentor to me and day after day he would speak words to me that reminded me of who I really was. Um, Terry, Heidi, I wanna, I wanna show you guys something. If you guys could each grab a piece of this, hold this up right there, maybe with your other hand. Terry, yep. That hand, Heidi. Hold it. Yep, right there. Look, Keith single-handedly reached into my life and removed every negative word that I ever believed about myself. His words helped me break through this barrier that I thought I would be stuck behind forever. One person, one person to take on these words and remind me that I matter. This is why it never felt like it was me who won America's Got Talent. It was an eight-year-old boy who believed that he would never be anything. He won America's Got Talent. Heidi, Terry, thank you guys so much. My name is thank Dustin Tavella. Thank you, America.